Alright, welcome back, Internet friends. Thank you for joining us on Let's Drink to Borderlands 2. Uh, when last we left off, I believe we just uh, sifted him out of the fire and uh, rescued Rowan. So let's go talk to him in the sanctuary. Um, before I forget again, joining us on this for this gaming session, uh, Tim is here again, of course. Uh, oh. The part of Viper X Pyro will be played by Trent Mercy. Hello. Uh, Emma is with us as well, again. Hi. And uh, a special guest this week, uh, my old friend Colton. Good afternoon, everyone. How the hell did those bandits snag you, anyway? Uh, I was taking a leak. One of them knocked me out. Wow. You shook more than twice, Hands didn't Jack you? Is gonna kill us all you know if you shake more than twice, you're playing with it. He means hi. That's his way of saying no hi. No new missions. Right. Is that Sorry. it? Hi. Look, I'll be honest, soldier. We're losing this war. We've been trying to stop I don't want for years. Taking out his men, raiding his original oh lines, but it hasn't been enough. <laughs> you, you met Jack and lived. I didn't expect to bounce oh, off his head and go out the window. Save my ass. He has a pogo stick duct tape to his head. But Mario lied to me. We're People were supposed to shrink or die when I jumped on their heads. Not bounce off of them. Roland has about 50 one-ups up his sleeve. Some intel I stole from a Hyperion Ah. I found out. Come on. What? I don't he's care about this conversation. He's going to control it. But he's telling you what the MacGuffin's good for. Repeat myself. What? The vault Jack's looking for isn't an alien prison or a cache of weapons. It's a living thing. An ancient Iridian warrior. Oops. Powerful enough to destroy it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your conversation with explosions. If I think I like threw it out the window and hit some guy down the street. Good thing grenades don't hurt friendlies in this game. Just walking down the street and all of a sudden this <laughs> There's a problem. exploding weapon comes flying out of nowhere. The warrior and Jack's already oh god, this day is terrible. I had a wife and kids! you did she? She does that sometimes. She might have told you the key needs to be charged with iridium. We're racing against time. Every ounce of that stuff that Jack mines from the ground puts him closer to taking control of that warrior and wiping us out. We gotta get our hands on that vault key. Now, if anybody knows where that key's being kept, it's my spy out in Tundra Express. My spy. He's as good at gathering intel as he is at drinking. So I'm sure he's sleeping off last night. Mental gin? We need to get a fire weapon to break him up. I'll explain when we get out. Bah, that spy is barely as good as drinking it. We are. <laughs> well said. <laughs> All right, great. Tundra Express. Tell me who. Out the window. Marcus, my cello. Where? You will waffles. need fire weapons for this quest, so be advised. I can smell the brimstone. <gasps> That's convenient. Suspiciously convenient. Oh, hey, look, it's an ice planet on the other end of the Stargate. Can we fit everybody? Nope, that vehicle seat's two. Only two? No, there's a gunner seat. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, no, this seat's four. That must be new. Uh, fun for the whole family. Alright, I'm in the, the back here. I'm useless. Oh, you shoot your gun. You know where you're going. All right, good. <laughs> On your second playthrough, you do more hey. damage than the gunner. Hey, you guys! Why did we get a Why did we get a truck for that? That was useless. Everyone, let us take it. We got a moonwalk over here. Apparently, Phil is aware Michael Jackson. It's not a. It's not an episode of Let's Drink the Gaming unless there's bad singing. Now, keep in mind, you need to actually set these things on fire. There's a fire one. Fortunately, there's a button on those big jet engine tower things that sets everything near it on fire. Now hit it with the injector, please. Sorry, what am I hitting? Well, 
Now, Alright, pressing the button. Let there be fire. Cutscene. Guess who the spy is? Is it me? Sure, why not? Mordecai! And his BFF was so loud. So angry. We need to take a drink. So did. <laughs> Has anybody here seen Hebrew Hammer? Yeah. Yep. Just reminded me of that. Forty. Ain't that right, Blood? Wow. Disintegrated. <laughs> uh, Tim's got the talking gun this time. At least he doesn't also have a talking shield. Is that a reference to something? No, when you finish that quest that gets the talking gun, you can also choose to get a talking shield. Oh, okay. And I wanted both. What does this button do? Incinerate. Makes fire. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody rescue Phil. He's been an idiot. Wait, who's getting clicking noises? Keep calm. I owe you. Thank you, Tim. I like You're the welcome. heart on your face. Yes. I heart you. Well, you shoot him in the heart anyways. Close enough, really. <clears throat> He's a midget chestburster. He bursts from the heart <laughs> and devours his victims. Oh, I see you got the alien head for your zero. Uh huh. Best looking one I have. Damn sight better than your face. I mean, um. <laughs> hey! Hey now. Is that really how you guys want to play it? You haven't talked to each other in years. We're supposed to be friendly here. Hmm. It takes a friend to tell yeah. the truth. It has been about two and a half years, hasn't it? It has been far too long. Tina's a bomb maker and a friend of mine. I've saved her life a few times, so she saved mine before. She'll help you out, but... Tina was a bomb maker. Tina's pretty badass. Oh, yes. Avoiding any further comments due to spoiler. Because I'm sure none of the fans of this show have ever played this game before. <laughs> Wait, we have fans? Uh, why are you trying to shoot explosive things next to me? Fun. You really need an answer other than boom. Oh, hey. Oh, there we go. Look okay, at textures. The stalker chased the bandit. The stalker thought was all in fun. Pop! Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, go down! Forgot to gun Zerk. <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, Tina is, like, totally psychopathic. Really? The 13-year-old that just blew up a bandit in cold blood is psychopathic? Yeah. I would never have guessed. Colton, honestly, your first mistake is thinking that I remember what Cutting Zerking is. <laughs> Dual wield and go faster and regenerate ammo. All I know is there's a button that I push on accident three or four times an episode, and I end up in this mode where my screen turns red, and it's usually when there's no one to shoot. <laughs> you should do that deliberately more often. Dual wielding shotguns is fun. Dual wielding rocket launchers is even better. Rowan told me you were coming. I still owe him for all Dual wielding shotguns that shoot rockets is even better. You gotta hijack a train, huh? Alright, you got me there. Let me introduce you to my lady. It's a shame there aren't shotguns that shoot rocket launchers. Actually, dual wielding. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. What is this game and, like, screwed up preteen girls? To be fair, she has a valid backstory reason for being fucked up. 
Yeah. Which we get to throughout her class. Could stop that train for you, but I'm gonna need their badonkadonks first, and they got stole by the bandits a few days ago. Go get them! <laughs> Nap time. So we need to find some badonkadonks. Wow. Okay. I know Tina can be. Uh, well, let's hit Dirk Club. <laughs> In Dirk Clubbin. Just do what she asks, and I guarantee she'll help you hijack the train and get the vault key. Be sure to get the teapot she asks you to pick up. It's worth it. Where exactly are you guys going? I don't Dude, know. Circles? I assume that it's the exact circle. opposite direction of where the Banongadongs are on the map. Well, it's the it, we're distant. We have to go around the mountain either way. Side note, guys, when you're, um... I love how Mordecai's just shooting ro sniper rifle off in the background. Pro tip, when you're going to use your breathalyzer to test whether what your blood alcohol is at this point in the show, it helps you turn on your breathalyzer. I've heard rumors that that helps with most electronic devices. At that time already. No, nah, it's got to warm up. Where are you guys? Where's your sexy assistant that usually runs your machine? Uh... That would be Colton. It may be the first time I've been described as a sexy assistant. You might need to get your eyes checked. Okay. <clears throat> no, I was, I was actually asking where Rachel was. Uh, she's working on... Um, Book illustrations at the moment, so she can't play with us. Ah, uh, sucky. Did he already die? No, oh, well, wait. Yeah, he did. I'm working on wall illustrations, but I'm at that point where my computer's doing all the work for me. You might want to shoot that adult pod, Phil. Too late. How you guys doing? I don't think he liked me. There we go. Alright, uh -huh. I got another Goliath without his head. We meet again, teammates. Oh, so we should avoid this guy? Well, avoid the guy who's running around without a head. He's already a badass. Keep going! Crush and kill for my amusement. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so the, the initial reading this session is a point oh four off the drink, which is um, a variant of the Handsome Jack theme drink, just because I don't actually have the right stuff. Still alive? He was awfully quiet. Over Aim there. for the engines on that thing. Oh, this will regenerate because it doesn't have bullets. That's filled with crap. Yeah, he died. Didn't even drop anything either. I've got a point oh five six Phil. Oh yeah, you with your fancy Join damn. The... Yeah, my fancy damn one. I appear to be waiting thing. for this particular breathalyzer to warm up again. Yeah, yeah, it takes a bit of time. I still got it. It was cheap. Got the red breast 12 year cast. See, I knew you had gotten the cast string. I'm out of regular 12. Ow. Consider not dying, I've heard that help. <laughs> is that really the secret to this game? All I have to do is not die? No, not really. Hey, I found some heroes! You do realize you just found the button that summons more enemies, right? Is that what that is? At least one of yes. those buttons. Awesome! Is which. Excellent. Good job! That's mushy snuggle bites, but don't 
dunk a dunk. She's my main squeeze. Lady's got a gut full of dynamite and a booty like how? Okay, that's creepy. That's all that is. I'm going to die, I died. Is it gonna put me now? Really? I actually appreciate that she's very creepy because there's just way too many people in our culture that pussyfoot around kids, like, oh my god, they're kids. Just what the fuck? Don't be so fucking stupid. I'm glad that a company actually had the balls to make a really creepy, fucked up kid. Well, she's creepy and fucked up, and that's okay. Like, the whole cold blooded killer blowing things up, but. It makes it sound like she's humping these stuffed animals in her sleep, and that's just weird. Aww. She's 13. She's in puberty. She's in puberty on a planet that is full of psychopaths. Exactly. Alright, there's now a raging badass that has a backpack. Oh, uh, the backpack loot doesn't improve based off of the badass level. Feel free to kill him whenever. Um... I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure it leveled. He drops different loot based off of level. The backpack itself doesn't level. Ah, okay. But that means he'll still drop loot based off of whatever level we let him be at. Correct. He will drop purples if you get him to maximum level. Yeah. Thank you. And so even record, if he has a backpack, we should still let him. Zero six, gentlemen and ladies. Ah, sweet. Okay, there are too many enemies. The number, the number of people shooting at me is too damn high. <laughs> Stay with your. I found a toilet on the roof. It's got goodies <laughs> in it. Move it. Oh, I know dear it does. God. Don't worry, Frank will save you. Who's Frank? I thought I killed that guy. I thought I almost killed that guy. Alright, so where is this other Badonkadonk? Over here. I feel like I'm watching Foxy Brown. Um, Except Foxy Brown is a 13-year-old white chick in the wastes. Help me! I'm killing. I'm coming for you, Forrest! Wait, no, I'm on the wrong side of a building. Yay! Run! I watched one of those uh, buzzards flip through the wall and explode. <laughs> something right in my face. Oh, I was gonna kill that. Oh, thank you. Tim, you I think mad? maybe we should just get out of here. We have the badonkadonks. We have the badonkadonks. Quick, we need evac! Oh. We have badonkadonks! Those helicopters... Oh god, god more evacuate. dang, coming back. Tim, Tim, you're it. <laughs> what, to run? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tim. Remember, folks, aim for the engines on the Badonka Dogs. They're where it's vulnerable. Not the Badonka Dogs, the aircraft. I was like, <laughs> why am I shooting at the Badonka Dogs? Since when has this game made sense? Ah, I fell. There's another one just stopped in midair. What's going on? Come on, Tim, get out of here. Alright. I'm at the door. Where are you guys? Outside, uh, it's death traps. The one that's retardedly humping air. Let's go. Run! 
Run, Death Trap was our uh, run the forest run. Then well, at least Death Trap is keeping them busy, and he died. <laughs> Ow! If you shoot the things that are shooting at you. But I was told to run, and bullets are hitting the back of my head, and it hurts. That's funny. Try it again. I didn't feel anything. That's because of how short you are in this game, Phil. Oh yeah, lucky you. You're not the one that's in the back of the line. <laughs> Adios. It was Mordecai this whole time. You could have probably shot them out of the sky for us. He's got a pretty crappy slag-based sniper rifle at the moment. It's not going to help you he guys. He was much. being a schlub. All right. Before we talk to Tiny Tina, I think it's time to uh, to hit the button called the episode. Tease you all on the internet. Any parting words, gentlemen? I have nine health. Ow. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Cheers. Cheers, Internet. We'll see you all next week.